Okay then. I have eight games to win the league. Europe is gone. The Champions League, we still need to qualify for that, but the league title is what we want. Eight games, eight massive games, eight cup finals. Oh no. And the problem with it being eight cup finals is I've never really been in one. Welcome back to the software story. Run the intro. This can only go badly. Hey then, folks. Welcome back to the Solve the Story. Now, if since the sort of more recent episodes and in today's episode, I'm going to show you every single match from now until the end of the season because I think that's what you want. You want glorious failure, much like I, as an England fan, want my team to do well. I almost know the sort of the inev inevitability of the failure. At least let it be glorious. So today, Hull and Southampton, quite an easy start to all of this. Uh, next episode, we'll obviously play the later games, and then I mean, I'm not sure how this is going to work. It'll, it'll kind of depend on an episode-by-episode -episode basis, but we'll definitely do two games per episode. Maybe add one in if it goes badly. That's the strategy. So, Nottingham Forest knocked us out of the cup. Uh, the Europa League, that's, that dream's gone. Champions League dream's already over. So, um, yeah, let's, let's win the league. Don't sound confident, do I? Don't sound confident. My fixture list should suggest I should sound confident. I'm not confident. Okay, then. Hull is the match today, and these are the men that I have trusted. You'll notice a few changes within the lineup. Kovalev's going to come in on that left-hand side. Sergio's now going to play on the right-hand side as an advanced playmaker. Finally going to try this out. Peter on the, re uh, on the on the right. Sorry, Ascaselli is out injured. Vidal, Casper, the back five is as you'd predict. China up top through the middle. Uh, Menga still out injured. And what a surprise. Sandoval got him in on loan and uh, got a five-week... Injury, sprained ankle, I mean, of course he has. It's ridiculous, look at his injury list. Just pick a look at it. You'll notice, by the way, two years away from me, not not, not an injury at all. Not even a, not even a, like a, a bruise or anything. Just gets him back in, out for five weeks. Of course it is. Okay then, so Hull City sits in ninth place. So they're not a weak side in the league, but when you're top of the table, you should be beating everyone. So we're going to start off with a more attacking mentality uh, than normal. We're going to go a little bit more structured as well. We are going to try and look for the overlap, but continue with the more direct passing, and uh, maybe exploit that left flank a little bit more. Mm, come on, Kovalev, this is your moment. If you play our game, we'll win. Oh, one person gave a shit. I've got, to be, I've got to be honest, folks. In these next few episodes, there might be a lot of shouting, a lot of swearing, a lot of anger. So... Let's enjoy that together. Now, Manchester, I mean, at this stage, we're eight games in. I feel like we should track the, the progress of the other teams around us. In fact, let's let's get... Right, let's get this up. Look. Top seven, we'll care about. Well, well top eight, because Hull will be played today. And then we can keep a strong eye on what goes on elsewhere. This is the first attack of the game. Ball played through. It hasn't come to anything, though. Casper picks it up. And I do think, actually, if we can get a little bit of momentum, get a run going, we should be fine. As China goes through, saved by the goalkeeper. But a good early start for Salford. And I think an early goal will settle some nerves. We always play better with a lead, um, traditionally, anyway. I don't remember us throwing away that many leads. But at the same time, I don't remember us having a comfortable lead very often. So, oh, it's just not good. It's just not, not, again, not positive, is it? Holler providing some pressure here which I'm not a fan of. Of course, we've started attacking away from home. Maybe a risk as uh, Schneider plays it to Sanchez, who is offside, but that is a warning. We'll go back to standard structured and uh, hopefully create something. As we've got the ball now, actually, as it happens, Casper tried to play the through ball over to China, but it didn't quite pay off. And now Hull are going to come forward again. Schneider picks it up. Ball in. Bamba with a header clear. Well, that sort of came to nothing. Colombino, I thought, was going to clear it up. Decided to leave it. Uh, rolled on now. With it, plays it back to Berardino. I mean, they've got their own Aenino on the other side. Parky with a good save from Sanchez. And it remains at nil-nil. Half an hour gone. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, what's up? Hold forward again. 24. Ball played in Schneider. Shit a brick! I was, I'm being serious. I don't feel... Usually, with this side... Oh, look at the table. Just look at it. Oh, God. This can't happen like this. This can't happen like this. Ball played in. Uh, Schneider. Close range. 1-0. Oh, no. Come on, boys. This is this is us now. Come on. This is us. We can't just let this... I don't want to use the word slip. I've said the word slip. I'm going to get aggressive. Where's the passion, lads? This is not good. This is whole city we're playing here. This isn't some good team. I kind of want to bring another striker on, but they're all injured. All right, Barry's coming on for... Sergio Kovalev. I don't want to take Kovalev off. We're going to go wingers. China up through them. Oh, God. Jeff Thomas. I might bring him on. I mean, Peter is having 
one of the poorer games out there. Jeff Thomas is on. 45 minutes to decide it all. This is game 8 of 8, or 1 of 8, I should say. Not the best way to start, is it? Hull, free kick. They've got every chance. I mean, when you look at the stats, you'd think, they've not really been in this game, Ben. It's been pretty even. I would have thought so too. But 1-0 up. Every highlight seems to have gone their way. Can we do something, boys? We have some of the most technically proficient players in the entire league. And I'm sat here right now watching us play counter-attack away at Hull. And we're 2-0 down. What am I doing? I, I know how to play this game. So what am I doing? We're going like this now. This is what we're doing now. We're doing some of that. We're going to... We're going to we're gonna attack. Fluid attack. We're going to keep the ball. We're technically excellent, everyone. That's what I'm going to tell myself. Okay. It's time to turn this round. I will do one of those needless touchline team talk things. Passionately say, encourage. Okay, then. China is on the... I feel, I feel like China's just going to shoot and waste it. I mean, I, I don't want to say I predicted that but there we are Hessing now now no, I've gone more attacking we've gone to a more traditional 4-2-3-1 Hessing's going to get up uh, a lot further you'd hope China through on goal saved by the goalkeeper Manchester United by the way elsewhere folks uh, two nil up we could finish fifth here this would be an almighty collapse I mean people are saying is this the beginning of the bottle job I'm going to just nod I think I don't know what it is I don't know what I don't know what is, is in the psyche of us but I mean look at this look at this D demolition job that should have been a goal the pressure's still on here boys we're not even they've hit the bloody white beam i mean based on the fact they've not respected the equipment there we should we should use that and think right they're against equipment we are pro equipment so let's i mean let's make a change peter phillips on kovalev off he's done piss all i don't i've got another this is just this is it this isn't it this is what you all want this is the beginning of the demise of me this is just where this is where it starts to crumble and by, I mean, by, I don't think it's this, this uh, for, God, it's like three nil to Hull. Is this Hull? No, it's offside. Is it offside? No, it's offside. I mean, change it, Ben. Just the, sharp. People in the stands, give me grief. I know. I know this is shit. How did you get into the home end anyway? All right, you shouldn't be behind the dugout. We'll go through. Jeff Thomas, ball in. Jeff, Jeff, Barry's there. Right, game on. Jeff Thomas has bailed me out once again. Barry, he's running it back to the centre circle like nobody's business. China lays it into Jeff Thomas. And we know he's got the delivery. We know it's all the way back to Barry, who heads it down across the keeper. And with five minutes to go, I mean, this is it now. This is it. If we don't get a point from this, we're ridiculous. Oh, God, we're ridiculous. We're ridiculous. Oh, for God's sake. Minute left. Just over. They've got a free kick. We've got to get it back. We've got to go. 20 seconds. There's no time. There's no time. Oh. <sighs> We've got the ball. Too late. Hole two. Salford one. Bollocking them. That was not good enough. There should be no excuses for that. Next game coming up. Um, I'll join you for that in a moment. <laughs> right, Danny. Just been a... Uh, had a pretty rough result there against Hull. Just thought I'd come for... A, some advice. Any advice, Danny? Anything at all, Danny? <laughs> Danny! You can walk my path You can wear my shoes Land a tug like me And be an angel too I could be an angel. But maybe Maybe you ain't never gonna feel this way You ain't never gonna know me No, you're right But I know you Yeah, you do know me, Danny. What would I do? I'm singing in my pants I can only get rubber Can only get rubber All right, turn this off. I've got a plan. There you are. That's gonna do it. That, there. That's going to fix it. Watch this. Watch this. So, Mikey Parkin goal. Bamba, Angerrand and Hessing at the back. Uh, Eric Ellis on the left-hand side. You've not seen a lot of him this season. It's fair to say. Casper, uh, Vidal, Caselli, Kovalev behind Menga, who's back from injury, and China. We've had a big break uh, internationally. So, it's a 3-4-1-2, everyone. It's back. Danny Webber, this is what he wants. This is what he would have wanted. I mean, he's not dead. I don't want to do it like that. So, what Danny Webber, he, he was a god in this formation. Come on, boys. 
for Danny. Okay, so I've been called a lot of things. It's my time as self manager. <laughs> Job, but today I'm going to be a hero. So come on, boys, let's do this for Danny. For every goal we score from now to the end of the season, we're playing some sort of song. So. Yeah. Okay, here we are then. This formation has had received pelters in the past. Caselli goes to this right hand side. Oh, no, it's a penalty kick. It's a penalty kick. <laughs> penalty kick. Casper to take for the first jingle of the episode. What are we going to hear? Could be anything. Casper. Oh, and tell me a thing. Can only get Weber. There we are, 1 0. Back in the game. Back in the game. Casper here then. Stepping up. It's Southampton 0. Salford 1. Okay, we're back on top of the table as well. Manchester United away at Sunderland. Uh, where are Sunderland in the league table? Let's just have a quick, quick gander. Not in the top 13. We'll ignore it then. They go through. Great save from Arky Parkey. And uh, it remains 1-0. Southampton corner. Hessing just about to clear. It's Bamba with a proper clearance. And now Menga's going to get a chance to run at the defence. Now, of all the players we've had, Menga was the one that didn't really suit this formation. Oh, play the hop jingle. Because why not? No, right, we're back and we're ready for this. Come on. Soul for two. Menga with a delicious delivery. We've played Menga with this formation before. We only changed the formation because Menga didn't like it. it. He likes it today. He assists China. It's 2 0 at half time. We're loving it. Stop the jingle now. So at half time, Soul for two. Southampton nil. And the formation of Gods has returned. Tell you what, bringing back the glory days. I should say, if you've picked up Salford uh, as a series more recently, this will be very confusing to you, I admit. Um, if you've been watching for ages, God, I love this as much as you do. Ball played in. Southampton are pressing forward. I do remember crosses are a factor. Oh, 2-1. Two, two, one. Two, what? We're not playing songs for them. This is how... Utterly shambolic. Oh, that's not... We're not getting comments from you during this. Thank you. Really quite pathetic defending from that side, Ben. That's enough of you. Thank you. Just shush. 2-1. 20 minutes left on the clock. I feel like a change could be made. Oh, I might bring Peter Phillips on that left-hand side. He's not natural there. I mean, he's not natural. He doesn't like it at all. Um, oh, dear. We're going to play him out there anyway, and we're going to bring Sergio on to play behind the two strikers. 20 minutes left to go. We're still in standard. I like that, though. I've liked that forever. For a long time. Did we go Italian at some point? We're going forward again. China in the area. China, foul him. Please foul him. caselli has got it on in, in his hands, in his, in his feet. China. Sergio. <gasps> he lassoed it. This is a throwback episode like I've ever seen before. Vidal, ball in. Menga was there. Southampton, with about 10 minutes left to go, do have a chance to break him. But Peter Phillips with a fantastic header. Slightly out of position, though, Peter. Slightly out of position. Thompson, shot from there. Fine, not an issue. Flipping it. We're going defensive. We're going Italian. Okay, do you see them against Belgium? This is it. Manchester United scored a late goal there, I think. Yeah, 83rd minute. Manchester United back on top of the table. We have ourselves a win. We saw it through. That means me. And we made it through. Yes! That brings to the end of today's episode. A good win, boys. Well done. They look happy. They look happy. Okay, then. Next episode. Uh, and if you'd like it, I mean, I'll, I will ask in this video, I think. If you'd like a double upload day, let's smash 1,500 likes. Double upload day. Do you want it tomorrow? You can have it. We'll do Brighton Sunderland and Liverpool West Brom. And then the climax against QPR Tottenham at the end of the week. On a Friday, perhaps. Yeah, we'll do that. That sounds good, right? So then, if you've enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. And with love, with care, from me, Danny Webber, G, and the hopes and dreams of Andy Tanner. We'll see you again soon. Goodbye. That was a throwbacky episode. Five games without a win. Finally got one.